Welcome to the project demonstration of four quadrant chopper on DC motor. So as we know that four quadrant operation is nothing but forward braking, forward speed up and uh, reverse braking and reverse speed up, speed down. So in this one we are going to provide the input from the six control buttons. Two are speed up and speed down in forward and backward direction. These two are to set the direction of the DC motor, this forward or backward and next forward braking and reverse braking. So the so-called status continuously monitoring on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and we are going to measure the speed of this DC motor with the help of this IR sensor. And next the direction and the speed of this DC motor control with the help of L29H motor driver. So which will get the input from our uh, microcontroller PIC 16F72 and the pins are C0, C1 for direction purpose and C2 for speed set. And it's uh, nothing but increase and decreasing. And the next control buttons inputs. So this is these two buttons interface at A0, A1, A2, A3, C6, C7. And uh, pin number B2 to B7 interfaces to the 16 by 2 LCD screen. And the whole system getting power supply from this uh, transformer. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this IR sensor interface at the A4 pin. So here we are providing 230 volts inputs AC. So this is called as a regular power supply section. So it has a four stages. One is step down 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC. Next rectification. So 12 volts AC to 12 volts pulsating DC. And next filtration with the help of this 1000 microfarad capacitor we will get 12 volts pure DC. And the next last stage is regulation 7805 will do that operation. We will get the 5 volts constant DC power supply. So after that we are providing the 5 volts DC to this motherboard. So on this motherboard the main components are like one is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller. This is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 mega heads of clock frequency to the microcontroller. So the main purpose of the oscillator is like we have provided a set of instructions to read the input and control the output modules. So those instructions need clock pulse, one clock pulse per instruction like that we are providing 20 mega clock pulse per second so that controller can execute 20 mega instructions per second. So coming to this IR sensor working, so whenever this white object coming in front of these two IR LEDs, in this one the transmitter is going to be the transparent one and receiver is a black color. So when there is a uh, white object coming in front of that, so transmitter rays will be reflected by this surface of this white surface and that will be received by the IR receiver and given that pulse input to our microcontroller. So here we are measuring. RPS, this is a revol uh, revolutions per second. So we are counting that how many pulses per second is happening that will be measured and continuously displayed on this LCD screen. So let us see demonstration. Just provide the 230 volts input to the transformer. And uh, next, welcome message on the LCD screen. So we need to initially it is come with forward braking and reverse braking. So we need to set the which direction you want to move. This forward motoring. Okay, and this is reverse motoring so you can see the status on the LCD continuously so while demonstration we should uh, taking care of sunlight should not fall on the IR sensor see it shows the zero directly because the directly sunlight falling on the IR sensor cover it touches okay so this now it will display the exact RPS Boxing cotton box. Right now, you can see that. So, for every like uh, rotation, there should be a light blinking, otherwise, it will show the zero value. So, now I'm in I want to increase the speed. So, when you hold the switch, there is a blinking for every step increment. So, once the motor reaches maximum speed then the LED blinks blinking stops so in our project the more DC motor ratings are maximum of around 40 RPS as we are using 2400 RPM motor so we are getting 40 RPS nothing but 40 into 60 seconds so that we will get 2400 RPS and its increment, decrement.
same like and when we are rotating in reverse motoring so if you apply forward braking so the system won't apply that braking system on the motor so forward motoring reverse motoring reverse braking again forward motoring reverse braking won't work as you can see that the button read by the microcontroller as the LED indicates and only forward braking will be applied.